It's the Q. Here is your host, Jeff Crick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground in Santa Clara, California at the Anita Borg Women of Vision Awards 2015. We're really excited to come down and talk to uh, some of the participants, but also some of the award winners. And so we're really uh, honored in this next segment to have the Student of Vision Award finalist, Julia Edwards from Smith College, almost an alum, right in a week or so you'll be an alum. Yep. Congratulations on, uh, on being a finalist. Thank you so much. So talk a little bit about what is this contest? What is the Student uh, of Vision uh, and how did you get involved? So the Student of Vision Award is aiming to celebrate students across the globe who have visions for how to improve the state of women in tech in general and how to recruit more women students to uh, start studying CS. Okay. So I got involved because I founded uh, Smith College's first computer science club. And I've been so inspired by it that I decided to make a video, which is how we all applied, uh, showcasing what we did this year and the success we've had. Awesome. So when did you start the uh, the club? What year were you? Uh, I was a junior, and it was 2013, and we became an official Smith College organization later that year. Okay, and so and you're a senior, you're a CS major, I think you said before we came on air. And how many uh, people are in the club? So uh, right now we have over 120 members in the club, uh, and we started with around 30 of my friends. 120? Yes. How many people are at Smith College? Uh, 2,400. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. From <laughs> 0 to 120 out of 2,400, yeah. congratulations. Thank you very much. Very proud of it. Yeah, so talk a little bit about, you, you're so enthusiastic and, and bubbly before we went on air. You said really that you were excited about this because computer science really changed your life. How did it change your life? Why did it change your life? So uh, I had never studied computer science in high school. I had a hunch uh, from one experience that I might like it. But I learned everything I know about computer science uh, from my education at Smith. And since then, I've had countless inspiring experiences from internships at Google and Box, where I'll be working after I graduate, right. to attending Grace Hopper in 2013. Um, and I just felt like I found my passion, and I just want other women to have that experience, because I think a lot more people would like computer science if they just gave it a try. Right, right. And so you went to Grace Hopper last year. We were at Grace Hopper. It's an incredible event. I think they said there was 8,000 uh, women in tech there. Talk about that experience. You know, there's probably more people there than there are, than there are at Smith College to be surrounded by so many kind of like-minded um, professionals in the technology space. Oh, it was so cool. Um, so I was there in 2013 in Minneapolis, and I was I was uh, presenting my research actually that I'd done with my my advisor, and that was really cool. I ended up actually taking third place in the research competition, and to just have the support of all the women there, um, people coming up to me and and just saying, you know good job and knowing that these were people who were changing tech and changing the face of tech we we know that we have you know an issue with the gender gap so for these women to be there and to get to meet them was truly inspiring shedding kind of light on what I want to do after college and right. how I want to make my own impact um, it was it was just awesome that's great <laughs> so another kind of topic of conversation is is when should women girls you know kind of get involved in tech is there too early is there too late is there an ideal time it sounds like you kind of got into it late in terms of, of undergrad which is which is interesting that's what maria clave said the same thing not too early let me get get her in a great cs class early on and and really change it talk a bit about coming into it when you did, did the, obviously it worked for you why did it work for you what advice would you give for others so for me, having no prior background, um, it really worked to first, uh, this is a technical thing, but to take that class in Python. Python is a very beginner-friendly language, and that made all the difference. I would often feel like I was actually procrastinating my homework as I did my computer science assignments. That's how fun they were. So that was crucial. I, um, that, that made me declare my major after that first class, which was good that I had done that because the, the classes do get harder as you get as you go along and you might doubt yourself as a computer scientist. Um, everyone has, I have, and I was so glad to have that first really, really fun class that showed me, no, this is this is what I love. Um, and then as for, I don't think there's any, I mean, any time that it's too early to start programming. Uh, you know, we see a lot of boys programming at y ages as young as what, five? Yeah, the and old Raspberry Pi thing, right? Exactly. And there's absolutely no reason that girls wouldn't also be interested in that. They just need to be marketed to. Right, right. Talk a bit about your internships, your summer internships. You mentioned you were at Google, you are at Box. How did those things um, kind of impact your decision to stay on this career path? 
So uh, I was a software engineering intern at Google, and that w- I learned so much that summer. And that was, uh, I learned, for example, I learned how to do JavaScript and web apps. And that was really cool. It was awesome to get the experience of a professional code base and seeing what professional style code was like, and then also seeing that I was able to write it. That was a really big boost of confidence. I also found um, my technical passion, which is program or product management, okay. where you're involved in the strategy of the product and where it's going to go, and you help the engineers figure out what to build. And I did that last summer at Box as an engineering program management intern, and I had a blast. Okay. And I just totally know what I want to do uh, with my career at this point and Excellent. where I want to take So what are you going to do at Box uh, when, when you start in the summer? Are you taking the summer off or are you go re- getting right into it? I'm taking the summer off. Okay, good. Uh, what, uh, where in Box will you be headed? So I'll be headed onto the partners team in okay. Box, which is involved with kind of making sure Box works with some key software that company uh, our customers are also using, um, which is heavily involved with strategy. And ultimately, I, I really want to be uh, involved in the strategy of Box and in its future. Love, love your enthusiasm, Julie. <laughs> love it. Uh, uh, congratulations for uh, for being a finalist. I don't know. I think I will call you a winner. Um, Really a terrific, terrific story. Uh, good luck to you at Box and uh, trying to find a house in San Francisco. That will be the <laughs> hardest thing that you will ever face. That's true. That's true. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Uh, Julie Edwards here. She is a Student of Vision Award finalist here at the Anita Borg Institute, Women of Vision Awards in Santa Clara, California. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching.